Jeff here from Alternative Heating and Supplies. It never fails to get one or two phone calls every other week or so about uh, people that are having problems with their stoves overheating. Usually it comes down to three things, but it also is mainly due to just maintenance. Um, and I'll go into the three main areas here of why it's most likely overheating. One is airflow. Now airflow is, a fire only needs a couple things to grow and survive, just like a human being. It needs oxygen and it needs fuel and it needs the expansion capability. If it has that, the fires continue to grow, which will make that water overheat, which will give you your boiling effect. So if you're not controlling your air, and what I mean by controlling your air is usually these boilers will have a seal on the door and or the ash door. There's so many different makes and models and how they're done. You're looking for to solve your problem, you're looking for airflow issues. Now I talk to everybody who has these issues and the first thing I say to them is, how's your door seal rope? Oh, it looks great. Replace it. If you're looking for a problem, replace it. If there's any, you know, well, it's been there for three, four years and I haven't had a problem. I understand, but replace it. First step, replace your door seal, that's maintenance. This is stuff that uh, you should be doing on a regular basis anyways, annually or no more than every two years. Okay, another thing that a lot of these boilers have are these laminated solenoids. And these solenoids are used to, the Aquastat says, hey, I need oxygen to start up the fire again. And what these will do is they'll pull up and sometimes they stick in the up position. So what I do is I put a little bearing grease on both sides of this to make sure that the gravity does pull it down. These are usually pulling up dampers or rubber flappers like this, depending on the make and model that you have. Um, and make sure that it's getting a nice tight seal. Again, just a small crack will let a lot of air go through, which will make that fire grow and get you to overheat. Air is most often, 95% of the problem that I find is the cause of overheating. Another variable is to it is water circulation. If the water's not circulating around inside the wood stove properly, it's going to overheat because the hottest water is sitting at the top where the hottest part of the chamber is since it's not circulating really good. The example I use with that is when you're making a glass of chocolate milk and you used to pour the, the uh, syrup in there, if you don't stir it real well, the chocolate's all at the bottom, okay? You, you need to stir up the water in the boiler really good. Now what causes that is one, the boiler's design. People who make homemade boilers, it's not something they consider. So it's, they're not the returned port uh, on the water and the supply port weren't thought out very well. So the circulation is not happening real good inside the boiler. Pumps failing. The pumps uh, have these props or um, design systems to, to help pump the water. And over time, uh, they start to break down and they just don't function as well. Okay, so the pumps will start to slowly, performance wise start to slow down, which will cause this issue also. And bad circulation, which I just went over. Then the rarest problem is electronic issues. Usually when these problems happen, it's, it's a definite failure. You know it immediately because they stop working or something else. Aquastats, uh, there's the older style are spring activated as they heat up, the spring expands and they tell something to open and close, but the, the elasticity of that metal spring is starting to fail. And that's why that happens and not as effective. And the temperature probe. The temperature probe is what tells the Aquastat to do its thing. Um, and a lot of times they're based on ohms and they just lose their ability to get a good reading and they're not reading properly. Okay, first you go for air, second water circulation, three electronic issues, 95, 3%, 2%. Hope this helps. This is all there is to it. The motto is, is you got to play detective here and try to find out First, obviously the air and why you're overheating. And I think you're gonna find most of your problems. I hope this helps. Hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be coming out with these videos every week or so to hopefully help you with these situations that we all come across once in a while. Thank you very much and happy heating.